At Nictors, our goal is to make the greatest American whiskey. We take a lot of different steps during production to pursue a house style. And we want to achieve a house style that is very rich, very flavorful, and very smooth. We use the finest ingredients. We use the best equipment to make the best quality whiskey. At Michter's, we age to taste. We're not a just-in-time company. We come to work every day with the goal of making the greatest American whiskey. We have a great team, and we have a bunch of people really dedicated to that mission. Pam Heilman is the first woman to serve as a master distiller at a Kentucky Distillers Association distillery since Prohibition. We asked a lot of knowledgeable people, who are the top four distillers in the United States? She was on everybody's list. In order for us to use any grain that comes in, it has to meet the highest quality standards. It has to pass every single one of the tests that, that we put it through. And if it doesn't pass one of those tests, we reject it. We're going to ensure that it meets all of the standards of US number one. Only then will we unload that grain and use it for our whiskeys. Barrels are probably the single most expensive thing in the entire process. We toast, char, and use 18-month air-dried wood. So the toasting process is where we start to actually break down different flavor compounds in the wood so that we can extract more flavor from the barrel itself. Again, it's that going the distance to try to pull in more from the barrel aging process contribute quality to our overall product. Everything's all copper. Our distillery here has over 11,000 pounds of copper. And we are very lucky to work with Rob Sherman and the Sherman family, uh, who've owned Vendome for generations. When we cut our whiskey, we cut it down to 103 proof. We add all that water up front, from 138 to 103, to put that product into the barrel. And then that product's gonna get the, the interaction with the barrel the entire time of aging and um, makes it a more viscous, more bold, more flavorful liquid. One of the reasons that you don't see a lot of brands entering at lower entry proof is that it's very expensive to do it. We don't get as much yield from the barrels over the life cycle of the barrel. Um, it takes more barrels to enter the spirit in and it takes more barrel spaces. there's an expensive step that we need to take to make the whiskey better in terms of production, we just do it. At Michter's, one of the things we do is we try to double the amount of cycles in the course of a year. So during the winter months, when the cask would normally be just sitting there, we're actually force heating up the warehouse, in turn heating up the whiskey temperature inside the barrel, changing the pressure, forcing the whiskey into the wood, and then we'll leave it there for a set point temperature, and then we'll start to open all of the louver vents or windows, whatever we have, and we'll start to naturally cool things down. So we're trying to add more cycles of whiskey moving in and out of the capillaries of the wood, which imparts flavor, color, and aroma to the goodness of Michter's profile. Our batching tanks will not hold more than 20 full barrel capacity. We believe that that enforces an extra element of discipline because if you get one barrel that's not just right out of 20, the whole batch is terrible. We custom chill filter all of our individual styles of whiskey. So every single product we make has its own custom chill filtration protocol. And the reason why we do that is each individual style of whiskey has its own chemistry associated with it. And every barrel has to be at its highest quality standard. One of the things that I want to say to all of the bartenders and all of the mixologists who are supporting our brand uh, in the US and globally is thank you. You guys and gals are the ones who are truly helping to present 
the image of Michter's and the quality that we offer by making beautiful cocktails and explaining and creating experiences for consumers and conveying our message. So you're our brand ambassadors and we love you guys and thank you so much. For quality bourbon and quality American rye, Kentucky's really it.